Okay, time to play some chess. Got a pre-move here or the knight. And we'll see what the engine does. Okay, let's go ahead. Get the bishop out. Maybe castle here or just basically try to develop the pieces. Gonna push the C pawn with the idea of pushing the D pawn here. Which do we want to take there? Let's see. I think we could push this pawn here and then have this pawn take, and then we still have a bishop attacking in the center. I think that works. We'll see. Or that. Uh, scenario works too. So <coughs> let me think this through here. If I give up the bishop right here, I could take this pawn and this pawn and deliver a check, I believe. Yes. Okay, so now I could just pin the knight. If they push the pawn out, I could take. Although my queen could be in trouble, we'll see. Or they move the king and we get the knight there. Okay, we have another check available here, but I think. I think some development might be better because it gives us more options. So I'm thinking if we pin the knight here, we could move the pawn and press that way. And that should win material. We've also got the check option with the queen in the spot. Yeah, I still think that's good. And then we've got, we should, this should clear out a file too. If we get this pawn out of the way, we could slide a rook over. Ideally, if we had the other knight out, we could do some stuff. So maybe I think the knight can't really move at this spot. So if the queen moves to here, we could check from here. So I'm going to take the risk of bringing this knight out for the convenience of having both rooks because once we open up another file we should be in good shape i think yeah it's still pinned too by the way the knight so we can just go right here we did lose one way other way to check but that's okay we'll still win material in this exchange we did give up this but again we've got we got we're gonna have an open file we can get both rooks in those files so we'll see here. Okay. One rook. Let's get the other rook going. And then we've also we can also push the pawns here. We've got the queen backing, so there should be some more combos available. And I'm going to back the queen up just to be safe here. <laughs> Let me think this through. I don't know if I want my queen being attacked, but I, I almost feel like I have to open up open up space because we have long range pieces. They're most effective when we get in that scenario. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's go there. Oh, 
I think this knight has got to be good for something here. Let's go here. I see a check fork for a rook. Check fork still available. Got to watch out though. Uh, if you'll notice, Black's queen threatens this, but I think we can get around it with a check fork. Yeah, well, that's better yet, because now the rook can't. I was thinking the other rook might take, and we'd have to deal with a threat, but now we can just take right there. All right, so I think queen takes here, pins the bishop. Okay, uh, plan is going to be, or initial plan anyway, is going to be knight here, knight here, and then going to force black to bring on the defender. We do something with the rook. Still okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no. I was thinking, I was forgetting this pawn was here. I was thinking I could play the rook there. Uh, not going to work in this spot. But this will open us up for a combo with the other rook. Potentially, too. I still like the knight idea, though. I like both ideas a lot, actually. But this should win the... Uh, yeah, we gotta watch out. There's a mating pattern there for black. So we're gonna check here. That should win the queen. And also prevent the mating pattern. All right, let's, I think a knight here is a good, decent move. Just gotta watch her back row. As long as her back row is good, we should be good. Okay, idea here is to go for the pen and possibly checkmate. And yep, that should work right there.